hi everyone and welcome to my youtube channel where you learn everything about analytics automation and productivity do you have a sharepoint list with two dates or more than two date columns and you want to calculate the difference between the dates in case you want to generate additional column that track how long it takes for a particular items to be resolved or the difference between when an approval was submitted and when it was actually approved if that is the situation right now then this video is for you so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a calculated column that sort of calculate the differences between two dates on the sharepoint list so where do we start from all right we're going to create a new column this time around we are not going to create just the usual column that you can see right here i'm going to navigate to more and click on more more will take me to an environment where i can create different columns um, you know more than the options that i have on my list page as you can see right now i have several type of columns here column type i'm just going to label this um i mean um lag time lag okay let's just call it lag time or let's uh, time to resolve okay time to resolve time difference let's just leave it as time to resolve when i'm creating column i often make sure i write my column in column name in camera case like not leaving space here you're going to navigate straight to calculated column and calculated column allows you by the name calculated it allows you to create a column that does calculation based on other columns whose values are based on input from other columns and immediately I click on this, the screen just depending on your network speed and show me this formula bar where I can directly type in you know, my formula, my expressions and it then runs the calculation. Similar to Excel, every formula starts with equal sign, same here as well. So I'm going to start with equal sign and let's just find the difference between the two different time, you know, dates that we have here, which is just the date, the issue was logged, which I have here, which is date logged. I'm just going to say minus the date it was resolved. So let's see how this works out. I'm going to click on OK. All right. This column has been created and all I have here is wow. I'm not getting a consumable value here. This thing doesn't sort of make any sense to me. I just have numbers and dots and some is negative. It's negative because date it was logged was less than the date it was, you know, it was resolved right so let's go back and change it to this i'm just going to change it so i will locate the column which is time to resolve i will click on time to resolve the expression we're going to use here i'm going to start from scratch now equal sign date diff so date diff will calculate the date difference but remember we need it in a particular order or format so I'm going to put in the date it was logged first, date logged, comma. So I'm using this to calculate the difference between date it was logged and date it was resolved. And I need to specify, put in comma, specify in what format do I need it. I need it in days. So when I put just D, it will give me just the days, the days difference, the difference in days. I'm going to close this bracket. But because I want it to be something readable, so I'm going to concatenate by using the at symbol and then concatenate days. So whatsoever number that the formula you know resolve results to, you're going to append days. So you now see maybe three days, four days. But that is not all. So let me leave space there so that I can be spaced between the other expression I want to write. The next formula is I want to append again. So give me it in days, in as in minutes and in seconds so i'm just going to use at sign to concatenate because i want to extract just the text uh, i want to extract the minutes the hours and seconds i need to use text here and not not date div so i'm going to type the text expression open my bracket this time around i want the difference between the date logged minus date resolved it's going to be date logged i'm going to put minus sign just the way we had it earlier on date resolved so I have date log minus date resolve now, and I need to specify a comma just the same way we did it for the date difference. What do I need the hours? Just return the hours difference. So I've specified my format when I'm formatting the test. 
I'm going to close. Don't forget, because I want it to read hours, I'm going to concatenate and add H. I'm going to add HR. Let's shoot S, meaning hours. So I'm going to tell us how many hours. All right, great. I'm going to leave space so that there could be space. Um, I'm also going to concatenate again. This time around, we need to just repeat this. I'm going to repeat it from this test. Control, I mean, Control C to copy. I'm going to paste. This time around, I only need it in minutes. So I'm going to do MM is for minute. And I'm going to change the appell, the test that has been appended to MIN. You know, and again, append again, you know, concatenate using at and paste that same formula. This time around, change this to SS, which is seconds. And of course, you can send it to SXC, which is second. Right now, if you look at this, I have been able to express that. I've been able to write the expression of formula that does the calculation. First thing is to look at this date locked and the date the issue was resolved. How many days different do we have there? Return that date difference in days and not in months, not in years. I need that in date because we expect the issues to be resolved in days. No matter how long, you know, 30 days, yeah, 40 days, but depending, but most of the time should be in days. Okay, what about the hours and the you know, minute and the seconds difference? That is why we are using the text to format the difference between date and you know, date logged and date resolved. Often time it will return them in numbers, but it can extract them in hours, which we are saying that give me this in hours and append hours HRS as a text. Give me uh, also in minutes and append the minutes, you know, as a text label. Give me in seconds and also append it. Let's click on OK and see how this you know, is going to work out. Now that I have OK. Okay, let's let me click on mini case maker now to go back to that screen. Wow, awesome. Do you see that? We have them here. Seven days, one hours, 12 minutes, and zero seconds. 21 days, 21 hours, 12 minutes, you know, and zero seconds. You can see that. I'm going to create a new item just to show you. Right now, I'm going to just click or type or latches. The subject here is you know, complaint. The date log. Let's log this sometime here. And the time. I'm just going to make the time 12:45 p.m. You know, okay. And the status is still open. You just want to see the time difference. The date resolve. Actually, you might not have your yours as date resolve, whatsoever the column is. Let's assume the date is even being populated by an action card or by one activity. But you are interested in calculating the difference between these two dates. So I'm going to come here and assuming it was resolved on mm, close to that time is um, maybe 18th. Of course, we lodge it on and this 18th instead of 12, maybe 1, you know, 1.35 p.m. That's sort of fine. So between 13 and 18, just like five days difference. I'm going to click on save. And right here you will see, do you see that? Five days, zero hours. 12 minutes and zero seconds and by the way i have a flow at the back end that is generating the mini the, the case id you know is a custom value and it's generating it in case you want to see how to generate that unique value just check at the top here there's a video you know which is coming up now that video shows you how to generate a unique a custom unique id auto numbered id in sharepoint i hope you enjoy that all right so do you see that it has been generated and we are done and thank you don't forget to you know, subscribe to my youtube channel and also you know click on the notification bell so that i can get notified for subscribe videos as i drop them thank you and bye for now